everyone, so today I'll be showing you how to create this super cool slip single bracelet. This is my unoriginal design and I created this a while ago and I recently had a tutorial for this but I deleted it because that tutorial was like not really well explained and the camera was just so out of focus and I didn't like it. So here is the remake of the tutorial for the slip single bracelet. Here's the signature side and the reverse side. And this bracelet was inspired by the Domino Dots bracelet created, created by Claire's Wares. And the link for that bracelet will be down below. So make sure you go click it and watch it and make it and all that fun stuff. And now on to our supplies needed. So today you will need one loom, a hook, and a C-clip and as many colored bands as you would like for the colors. I highly recommend using two colors. I'll be using Caribbean green and um, neon orange jelly. And the reason my loom already has a border on it is because I was previously filming this tutorial, but then it went wrong and I only got to placing the border. So yeah, that's why the border's on there. So anyway, we can just get started. So you're going to start with your loom. Obviously your loom won't have a border on it. So go ahead and make a border. Pause the video here. But when you're ready and you're done placing the border, you're going to take... And by the way, the border is the black, if you didn't know that. <laughs> and then you're going to take the color that you want the inner black in there to be, which I'll be using white. And you can certainly use a different color. However, I'm just going to use white, same as my border. And you're just going to make a single chain that runs all the way to the top of your loom on the middle pin bar. So go ahead and do that. So now what you're going to do, we're all that's all we're going to be placing for now, and we're going to turn our loom around, and I know this is really weird, but you're just going to place the cap band up here, and we're actually going to start looping. So you're just going to go inside here, grab this band, and loop it forward, grab this band and loop it forward, and just loop the middle single chain. So go ahead and do that, and I will be back. So once you're done looping this single chain all the way up, we're going to start placing the colored bands. So you're going to start with the bands that you want the pink in this bracelet to be, which I will be using Caribbean green for. So you're going to, this part might be confusing if you, like I said, haven't made the domino dots bracelet, but what you're going to do is you should see that your single chain this inner single chain has two sections to it, a bottom half and a top half. You're gonna take your hook, grab the bottom half, and you're actually gonna stick your hook through it. So go through the bottom half, just like that. Now take your, whatever band color you're using, your first band color, and you're gonna pull it through. Then place the other end back on your hook. Now take this and loop it here. Now you have this half right here and we're actually going to do that again, but for our next color. So stick your hook through that half of the single chain band, pull your next color through, oops, pull your next color through. Why isn't it pulling through? All right, let's try that again. Pull your next color through. Just don't want it to get tangled. All right, I'm having difficulties doing this. Hopefully you guys aren't because this is supposed to be super duper. Here we go. All right, so I got it now, finally. And you're going to place it on this pin as well. Now you're going to do this for this side as well. So tilt your loom. Make sure you see those two bands. Eh. Go inside this one first. The bottom half first. I hope I'm explaining this well enough. But yeah. So now I'm going to take this band, pull it through that bottom half, and place it on this pin. Now stick your hook through this other half. And sorry, my loom is going everywhere, but that's just like a thing right here, so I can't really maneuver my loom that well and then pull the other color through that half. Hopefully I'm explaining this well enough for you guys, but that's what you're gonna do. And I think Claire explains it a lot better than I did, so 
you are confused, go ahead and go make the domino dots bracelet, then come back to make this, but hopefully I explained that well enough. So now you should see that there are two Caribbean green and two orange bands, and you're going to take those Caribbean green, and you're just going to loop them over the pin. And do the same on the other side. So the two Caribbean green and the two orange bands, and loop the Caribbean green over. And you're done with the first single chain. Now you're going to continue this all the way up your loom. So continuing with that same thing, you're going to go in this half of the single chain, the bottom half, pull a Caribbean green band through, and place it here. And then go inside this top half and pull an orange through and place it on this pin also. And now you're gonna do this to the other side. So go inside this bottom half. Let's see if I can do this right here. Pull this through and loop it here. And now go inside this other half. It's really weird how I'm holding my hook, but that's the only way I can show you guys. Hopefully you guys are getting it. Pull it through and place it here. And now you're just going to loop over the two green on this pin and the two green on this pin. So you're going to continue this all the way up your loom. And if you still need help, rewind the video. Just remember that you always go in the bottom half first. It doesn't matter on which side you start, actually. But you just want to make sure you're going in the bottom half of the single chain first. And then the top half. And yeah, so I will be back when I'm done. Alright, so once you reach the top, you are going to do that same stitch. So go in the bottom half. Pull a band through, go through the top half, pull a band through, and you can loop over the bottom half, and then do the same on the other side, and I'll be back. Alright, so once you've done that, you're going to go back down to the bottom, go underneath the cap band, and Grab this band and loop it here, and grab this band and loop it here. Go underneath all those bands, grab the bottom band, and you're just going to loop the border normally on both sides, and I'll be back when I'm done looped, when I'm done looping everything. Alright, so once you reach the top, it's just a simple closure, so pull a band through, and then grab a C-clip and clip it, and now you can take this off your loom. And now you can just add an extension. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial on how to create the sleep single bracelet. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And check out my recent video right up there. And I think that's it guys and I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye!